Welcome. I want to show you how to use STS Pilot, a software for the STS Pi, this little robot, with this video. If you want to know how to install the software, please refer to my GitHub page where you will find the source code for download as well. For those who do not know anything about the STS Pi, this is a little robot chassis working with two motors, so it's fairly simple to control. And the hardware interface is a so-called Explorer head that plugs directly on top of the Raspberry Pi and can be easily controlled and programmed in Python. Starting up the STS Pi with STS Pilot installed is easy. If you have configured it to start automatically on boot, all you have to do is to basically turn on the power and after about a minute, the application will be ready to receive connections from clients. The flashing green light has just indicated that the software has started successfully. And now pad three, the red LED is flashing, indicating that the robot is immobilized at the moment, waiting for connections from clients to work with it. How do we use STS Pilot? So here we have the little robot on the floor, all powered up and ready to go. And I will now connect to the robot with my phone, in this case, my Fairphone 2. And what I need to do is to open a web browser. In this case, I use Lightning, the Android browser. And there we already see on the screen, the live video feed and the control touchpads left and right and bottom of the screen. A nice thing about STS Pilot is that the application is responsive. So if I tilt the phone, everything will be magnified. So we have good use of the screen on the phone. Okay, so how do I use it? We see the video. The two colored bars to the left and the right are those to control the motors. And whenever you have a problem and you run into an emergency crashing into furniture or whatever, you simply touch the center, this will emerge immediately stop the SDS Pi from moving. So if I go left here, come on, it triggers the left motor and we can see the video updating and the machine is basically moving around. If I touch the center screen, it stops immediately. The same with reverse, green is stop. the right pads. This is to demonstrate that you can even use multiple devices with a single SDS Pi. In this case we have a phone and the Raspberry Pi. Both devices get the video feed from the SDS Pi, although sometimes there is quite some lag because it puts a lot of load on the CPU and the wireless link. And both devices can independently control the SDS Pi. This opens possibilities for all kinds of funny games, of course. <laughs> Just a quick explanation. Here we see the colored bars at the bottom. This is the remote control of the various LEDs. So I just turn the pie around. And if I go here, you can see the blue LED lighting up, the yellow LED. And we even have the opportunity if we want to completely shut down the Pi via remote. For this, at first we touch the red one. So now the red LED flashes and it's the same as if we directly touch the pads. Now I touch the green one and within a few seconds, the STS Pi will shut down. There we go. And of course we lose the video link while this is happening. 